Hey everybody, it's Jay, and today I wanted to talk about my Bruger and Tillman TP9 pistol. This is chambered in 9mm. Kind of a little 9mm PDW type gun here. I have mounted to the top of this a Seymour Railway, which is just a very basic plastic version. That works pretty well, and I really like the look of, this, of it on this gun. As well as this tail hook brace which is made off of the original factory folding stock. So that works pretty well as well and is pretty nice looking, I think. I also have an angled foregrip on here. Yeah, I wanted to talk about this today mainly because I wanted to shoot it. And you don't see a whole lot on the internet about these. I know Military Arms Channel talks about them quite a bit. Uh, we've talked about them quite a bit on our channel and we really like them, to be honest. Um, this was number three on my list of top 13 PCCs, and I ranked that in order of the guns that I like shooting the most. And this ranked pretty high, to, to be honest, compared to uh, a lot of other guns. Now, it did come in under my MPX and my Scorpion, but I do think that the TP9 is probably the more practical of those three guns, and I'll explain why. As a packout gun, it is very light and compact and very handy, so it would stow pretty easily in a pack with folding stock or folding brace, depending on how you have it set up as a pistol or a short barrel rifle. It's extremely ergonomic with this T charging handle style that I know some people don't like, but there are some aftermarket options that you can get to change that out. Bolt releases here, releases it. It does run, oh, we have a crossbar safety here, really easy to operate. Um, the grip, correction, the magwell is in the grip, which you can see here, to accommodate some pretty large double stack mags, but to me it's not very uncomfortable. I can see how maybe it wouldn't fit some people's hands, but for me, it's not too bad. We have a side rail for an accessory rail, uh, this is one of the earlier import versions. Uh, this one came in from DSA. And I'm not sure actually who's importing them right now. Uh, it may just be BNT USA or something. I really don't know. Uh, but they are still available as of the time of this video. The Really, the key feature on this gun is the fact that it has a rotating barrel blowback. So recoil is fairly mild, really pretty mild. Uh, quite mild for a very lightweight 9mm. Now, some people have said in our comments before that 9mm doesn't really benefit from recoil reduction. Um, I believe that that's patently false uh, because there is a whole cottage industry around making 9mm pistols recoil less for competition guns, for self-defense guns, and all kinds of stuff. Because whenever you pull the trigger, the force of that gun, uh, the force of that recoil is going to push the gun up and whatever you can do to help mitigate that will help you get on, back on target faster. Now, the Scorpion is direct blowback, but it has some weight to it, which helps that a little bit. The MPX, which I think is a more fun gun to shoot of the two because it recoils so minimally and um, is basically just completely flat with every pull of the trigger. It just barely moves at all. This recoils a bit more than that. But the MPX is also considerably heavier than the TP9. So the TP9, I think, like I said at the beginning of this video, is actually more practical as far as a compact PDW kind of pack out type gun. Because, to be honest, uh, it is just extremely light while also still having um, some type of recoil mitigation. So I really like the TP9. If you're interested, check it out. It's, um, it's priced pretty expensively but it is pretty comparable to things like my MP5K, which is another gun that I think recoils less, but again, is considerably heavier and um, is a little bit more expensive than the SIG Copperhead, um, about in line with the um, MPX uh, Carbine, but uh, not, not too far off from those guns. Again, as of the time that I'm recording this, um, your mileage may vary depending on, you know, lots of other factors. So I'm going to put some rounds through this real quick. Uh, just on the range behind me, shoot it, and then we'll call it a day for this video. If you like the video, please click like. Be sure to subscribe to us if you haven't already, 
And if you want to help support us and help us get out to the range a little bit more, be sure to check the link to our Patreon page and help support us. So this is Jay. I'm going to get some shooting done. And we'll see you soon next time.